Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me, English fighting legend Johnny Nelson. About time to. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. And facing him, Riddick Bowe. And yes, he is. Here comes Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, the 1988 Olympic silver medalist, a two-time heavyweight champion, and one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. As soon as the ball goes, don't blink. That fight could be over. And now we toss it up to the world-renowned ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. Fighting out of the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York, here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world, Introducing Big Daddy Riddick Bo. So much hype surrounding this fight, and now it is go time. And we're underway in round one. He parries away that left hook. Offensive display landing that left counter. A perfect counter lands. You couldn't write a strip like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. He threw the hook, didn't land. They exchanged punches. Men step back for just a moment. <laughs> nice exchanges from both men in this game. You watch that jam. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. That counter shot lands. Good counter right hand again. And Big Daddy Bogue. And what a rarity. Big Daddy Bo is down. One, two, three, four, five. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. After being knocked down in that round, to make or break the fighter. What do we expect to see here in round two? He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything, full battle because I know his legs are gone. But this, you watch what's going to happen. If he does not, I'd be very, very surprised. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. Speed generates power. Timing is everything. If you've got speed, you can pop, knock anybody out. You've just got to hit in the right spot. their bell rung. He just misses with that big right hand. 
Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Let's see if these two heavyweights decide to exchange bombs early or decide to box a little bit. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Counter punch. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that. You've also got to get your shots off. And they forget. You can bang too. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than that. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. He fails to score with that left hook. Swing and a miss with the right hook. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. down big time on the scores. You know, I've been in fights like that. When you think, come on, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. There's the bell for round four. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to block it. They've got to block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. Beautiful counter shot. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Got out of the way that right hook. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Good left counter that lands. Lands with the right counter. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. This 
fighter has not shown as much defense at all. That hook doesn't score. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Punch, counter punch. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Wow, it's like two different leagues. Back into the fray here in round five. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. the phrase finding a second win i don't think i need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it what can they change can they slow the pace down can they hope to, to, to knock them out early what can they do they've got to concentrate and relax because you know what you can do in the gym you can do it in the flat they've got to relax Heard the phrase finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Neither man really defending themselves. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? Going to keep his elbows tucked into the chest so he can avoid the pain of those body shots, but that leaves more opportunities for headshots. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, turn to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them. As they set their shots, get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Forward to lose another round. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. This is the beginning of round six. Let's see if they have a plan B after last round. That left hook misses. Nice counter shot. He misses with that jab. another scoring shot there's no way this fighter can go punch for punch their resistance to these blows just isn't the same work the body frustrate them take the mind off the chin take the mind off protecting everything around that work the body use tactics sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points can they figure out the combination to this safe? That one lands. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. We hear that old phrase, second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change?
they can change their attitude, they can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round, because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Wow, it was like two different leagues. Don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. The gap will appear. Look at him. He's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. And there's the bell to start round seven. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. You don't want to trade shots. That left counter was perfectly timed. Both men step back for just a moment. all the time. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. It's the one who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit, and you know when they're with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Exchange here from both men. So much firepower here. Beautiful counter punch. A big whiff with the right hook. Showing exceptional chins, by the way. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Well, we're entering desperation mode here. Gonna need a knockout. You know, you've been in fights like that. When you think you come up, down, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. Round eight, and we're off again. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. You're fine. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Talk about punches and bunches. That's the mantra for this fighter with that exceptional hand speed. I've never seen a fighter so fast in my life. How do you deal with this? You've got to hope. You've got to hope they run out of steam. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Good counter punching for both these athletes. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart, even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the word. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Good job trying to back out of trouble. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. 
perfect counter shot. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think like, you know what, next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. It's fine. It's so important now in this first minute of this next round to get on top of it. Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? They missed with that jab. Big hook thrown, but it doesn't connect. Watch the hook. Great counter right hand there. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pot arrows over the eyebrow, the cheek point. You've just got to try and cut them skin and go for speed. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Neither man really defending themselves. Caution is being thrown to the wind. On the right. Do you believe what we're seeing? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice job, Landy. What would you tell this guy he's got to do something different? The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And here comes the 10th round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up. Hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. Sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful, you can't think of You just got to be smart with them. You've got to be like a little favorite or pickpocket them. Left counter punch will score. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? How is he still on his feet? Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. If there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. Foundation appears to be okay, but when you put those gloves that high, you know that you're in trouble. Keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Nice counter punch. Who would have thought shoot. Ali would get rattled like this? Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Exchange here from both men. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Muhammad Ali in trouble. trouble. He's So there you have it. 
it is official now, and that is not the way anyone wanted this fight to end. No complaints there at all. The crowd agree, I agree. The ref knew exactly what he was doing. So you know what? Great shout. I look forward to fight number two.